Third grade today for reading, you need your small reading book. We're on page 50 talking about um, making a contribution. So your page should look like this. Our essential question is on the board. How do people from different cultures contribute to a community? So how do different people with different backgrounds all help to contribute to the same community? On page 51, follow along with me. David is sharing his culture with people in his community. Learning about different cultures is important. Different cultures make a community more interesting. Communities grow when people share their cultures. Can you imagine if everybody was exactly the same? Can you imagine how boring that would be? Instead, we get to have all of these different cultures mixing together and learn about all these different things and where people come from. Go ahead, turn your page. We've got eight new vocab words that we're going to learn this week as we, as we study our stories. The first word is admires. My family admires my good test grades, right? Admires, if you would think highly of something. Second word, classmate. Don and his classmate, Maria, always eat lunch together. All right, maybe you can think about something that you always do with one of your classmates. Next, community. Many people in my community work together. Think about your community. Maybe it's your community at Garden Homes, or your community in your neighborhood, or your community at your church. What do you like about that community that brings everybody together? Next, contribute. My mom, mom will contribute clothes to people who can use them. What could you contribute to a bake sale? Think about all the bake sales we've had in the past at Garden Homes. What could you contribute if someone was having a bake sale? Could you make cookies? Could you make brownies, Rice Krispies, coffee chow? What could you make? Next word, practicing, top of that page 53. Kyle has been practicing and now he can play lots of songs. What skill can you improve by practicing? Maybe it's a sport, maybe it's something else. Next word, pronounce. Cindy can pronounce her name in another language. Question is, how do you pronounce your last name? My last name, a lot of people pronounce wrong. If they just see it spelled M-A-C-H-E, a lot of them say Machi, or they say Mache, but it's really Mackie, right? So how do you pronounce your last name? Next word is scared. Our dog hides during storms because he is scared. Last word is tumbled. The ripe tomatoes tumbled out of the big basket onto the ground. We're going to see those new words in our Room to Grow story, and then we'll do a vocab worksheet as well later on. Room to Grow. How do people from different cultures contribute to a community? Make sure that as I'm reading, you're following along with me. I'm on page 54. Spring in the city. My name is, Ka is Kaiku Sato. Last spring, my family and I moved from the country to the big city. Our new home in Portland had no yard. There wasn't even a tiny plot of land. So Mama made an indoor garden. First, she and Papa planted seeds in pots. Then they hung them from hooks. Next, they crammed plants on shelves. Green vines tumbled over desks. Soon, our house had plants everywhere. At first, I was scared to start school. I was afraid no one would be my friend, but I soon met a classmate. Jill Hernandez and I were practicing reading aloud one day. She helped me say her last name, and I helped her pronounce mine. The next day, we were best friends. Jill spent lots of time at my house. Now, notice this is another narrative nonfiction, so we've got things that could actually happen. For example, the state of Oregon really exists. These cities in Oregon are real places. These are also people that could exist in real life. Go ahead, turn your page. An idea for a garden. One afternoon, Jill and her mother came to visit Mama and Papa and me. First, they saw our beautiful potted plants. Jill's mother said, Jill admires your indoor garden. She has told me so much about it. We all sat down while Mama served tea. First, she put green tea into the bowl. Then she added hot water and stirred. She handed the bowl to Jill's mother and bowed. 
My mother taught me how to make tea, said, Mom, said Mama. She also taught me how to plant a traditional Japanese garden. I learned to make the most of a small, compact space. All of a sudden, Jill's mother smiled. Can you help us with a project, she asked. Our community wants to plant a garden. Our plot is very small. There's so much we want to grow. Papa looked at Mama and they both bowed. Yes, they said. Top, top page 58, a garden grows. This heading on the top of page 58 is also part of a narrative nonfiction. Sometimes those, will, um, those captions and headings will be there to help you know what, this, what is coming next in the story. First, we had a meeting with the community. Everyone agreed to contribute. Some people brought seeds, tools, and dirt. Then the next day we met and started our garden. Papa built long open boxes. Next, we filled them with dirt. The tallest box went close to the back wall. The boxes got shorter and shorter. The shortest box was in the front. All the plants will get sunlight without making shade for others, said Mama. Then we used round, flat stones to make a rock path. Papa said that in Japan, stones are an important part of a garden. Finally, we planted the seeds. Jill and I worked in the garden all summer. Our community grew many different vegetables. At the end of the summer, we picked enough to have a cookout. Mama brought a big pot of miso and vegetable stew. Everyone thanked Mama and Papa for their help. They brought a bit of Japan to Portland. I was so proud. You can see here in these pictures with these captions, look at what we picked. Now, Remember, this is a narrative nonfiction, which means this actually happened. This is a real story. It's, in our essential question here, we're going to make some connections. What did Kaiku's family do to help their new community? Well, they helped make that garden. They contributed what they knew to the community. We'll work on our vocab worksheet on our Zoom call today, so make sure that you keep your book in a safe place. And good luck on the rest of the work. I'll see you at 10 o'clock for our Zoom call.